Hi everyone and thank you for coming to our YouTube channel today to hear our key stage one story. I have chosen the book The Wonder and it's written by a lady called Faye Hansen and at the bottom it says this is a boy whose head is filled with wonder. Now before I start reading this story I want you to have a little think. What does it mean if your head is filled with wonder? Let's find out. This is the boy whose head is filled with wonder. On the way to school, he wonders where the birds are flying. You've got your head in the clouds, sighs the park keeper as the boy nearly steps on his freshly mown grass. There's a sign at the bottom saying, please keep off the grass. Waiting for the school bus, he wonders who makes the clouds. Wake up, daydreamer, grumbles the bus driver as the boy bumps into another passenger. On the school crossing, he wonders if the lollipop lady sign tastes as orange as it looks. Pay attention to the road, snaps the lollipop lady. When he gets to school, he wonders what the best playground in the world might be like. I wonder what that would look like. No daydreaming today, warns his form teacher. She knows that he likes to daydream. In his science lesson, he wonders how the stars shine. You can't be scatterbrained in a laboratory, barks the science teacher. And in his art lesson, the boy finds a blank square of paper waiting. At first, he can't think of anything at all to draw. Just use your imagination, his art teacher tells him. So he does. As soon as his daydreams are set free, they take off across the page. I wonder what they're going to find. And the boy flies over them, over a park where no one keeps off the grass. If you look closer, you can see those great pictures. And then soaring up into the sky where the cloud makers put her out candy floss dreams. He dives into the land where everything tastes as good as it looks. Oh, I'd like to visit this place. I wonder what you would eat if you were here. And then he joins the parade around the best playground in the world. I wonder what you think the best playground in the world would look like. And finally, far above it all, where the galaxy makers gather, he helps them buff and polish each shining star. Time to stop, says his art teacher. I'd like each of you to come up and show me what you have done. Trembling. The boy walks slowly to the front of the classroom. <gasps> How wonderful, gasps his art teacher. It's like a daydream. What an incredible imagination you have. Which, of course, we know is true. Because this is the boy whose head is filled with wonder. Enough to share 
with everyone. Got a nice picture on the back. And that is the story of the wonder. Now it's got me thinking, if I was the little boy in this story and I had a blank piece of paper in front of me, I wonder what I would draw on my paper. I wonder if my imagination would take me to any of these places. I hope you enjoyed today's story and take care. Hopefully see you all soon. Bye bye. Just a little bit of an extra for today. One of the best things about the story are the illustrations. So I've just taken a photograph of some of the pages in the book so that you can have a look at some of the detail a bit more closely.